Expedition 33 is prepared for flight. Russian segment is prepared. Everything is clear. That's good. for the Russian segment and four of the, uh, the Soyuz are outstanding. They can simulate many emergencies, Rosgermatizati, and of course the smoke introduction and stuff makes them all very realistic. And all the systems work almost uh, exactly as in space. How long have you been training on Russian simulator? Uh, the two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that your team is prepared for flight? Absolutely. This is your first flight. Are you nervous? No, not yet. Thank you, everyone. It depends uh, because the results of the test determine a lot of things. If for some reason uh, there are concerns, it's one thing. But if the crew shows good work, then that's good. It is also possible to reschedule a retest. How confident are you that the crew will succeed? Well, I'm sure that they're good professionals. I know they've been training for a long time and they've been studying well. Now, if a backup crew is a little bit better, that doesn't necessarily mean that they will be the ones that will become the prime crew, though. Expedition 33-34, prime crew is prepared for flight. Commander Nevitsky, good morning. So you know the re yesterday's results. Do you have any questions now? No questions. Okay, Maxim. Да, да, да. 
just one second for us to set up the camera, if you don't mind. The camera is ready. The reporters are ready. So go ahead, please, Oleg. How was your first training day as a prime crew yesterday? And how are you feeling today? The simulation was great yesterday. We uh, got an excellent review of our simulation. We just uh, made only one mistake, uh, mistake, but we are very optimistic. Did not hear the question. <laughs> of course not. From the technical standpoint, we are absolutely prepared to fly in space. It's going to be all good. I trust my crewmates. They are good professionals. Does it add any extra pressure? The, the only one who's been on space. Oh, no, it actually, uh, it doesn't add extra pressure, it adds extra pleasure. Because uh, because I get to see them come to Cosmos for the first time with me. And uh, I can see by their training, uh, from what I when I flew before, that they're very ready to go and they're going to very, uh, very much enjoy their time in space. Yes. Any more questions? Uh, Stephanie Stoll for NASA TV for Kevin. Uh, these qualification exams represent a milestone in the completion of your training. Um, what is the significance of this phase of the training for you and your crewmates and the backup crew? Well, as you know, the training is a very long path. It's about a two and a half year uh, path to get here. Uh, we did this about five uh, months ago as a backup crew, so we had a little bit of uh, chance to see what these qualification sims would look like, but officially this is uh, our very last day of training for uh, Yevgeny and Oleg and myself. So it's a it's a big milestone for us. It feels very good to be here. Oleg, which simulation was more serious for you, the Soyuz 1 or the Russian segment 1? Well. For Soyuz, it was a more dynamic operation training because we had a lot of abnormal situations thrown at us. For the Russian segment training, it's, uh, it takes longer, but it's uh, with fewer surprises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me when you're ready for me. Ready? <coughs>
For you, for your crew. Well, I think that our exam will show how prepared we are, but at this time I would say that we are very prepared. We don't have any questions. We had a chance to ask all the questions that we had. Our instructors did a good job. We are prepared for everything, including the actual space flight. No. This is a long-standing tradition that we always have international crews. Uh, it doesn't make it difficult for us. We are professionals and we are one team. Your other crew members, did they come to you with questions and help asking for help? Well, of course, we train together. So I try to help them along as I could. I think it will be harder for those guys than it will be for us. OK, any more questions? OK, well, we're not going to take any more of your time. We wish you success. Thank you. Спасибо. Желаем ехать к генералу, генералу, удачи.